one hour love. Mm. That's all I ask from you. Giving my all to you. And if you want me to send in my life for you, da, 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 da. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house where we talk about this mental stuff. You know, some of the stuff that most of us run away from because we can't even deal with it. We can't deal with it. Come on up in here, Cletus. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Some of this stuff is so mind-boggling, and I decided to do this uh, video today for uh, Campy. Uh, I did get your uh, message, and I understand. I understand the wrath of children and what children go through. Trust me, um, and it is... They're in hostage situations. I always say it. Your child is a hostage. Whatever crazy fuck shit you into, he got to go with it as well. Because you can't separate the two and not drag your kid through all the madness. Y'all know that I got a special love in my heart for um, Boosie as crazy as he is. I just know that when he came to Milwaukee, I met him and he wasn't nothing but a person that um you know was good just he just a real down to earth person no airs um and i like that in people no fakeness just he is who he is and so i met him several other times after that and um so i people say how could you listen to that crazy black man? but yeah some of the stuff he says is way out of bounds but what i did love and respect is the fact that he did a video with Vlad said that we've been raising these kids wrong see he admitted it a lot of them won't even admit it that they're raising their kids wrong because it's it's an ego thing for them a lot of people you know these my kids my 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 and then when you watch them grow up and you realize that they are they come through you, but they are not you. And you've given some little human beings the mindset that they can go and take from people, or you got them so spoiled and without discipline, and and they they're like, how you say, it? just like wild animals, because oh my mama or my daddy gonna pick up from behind me, all those things when you don't equip your children to do what they need to do. You sit there and you watch them. Okay. And then I'm not saying that there is a perfect kid, you know, but what I do know is that the adults in their lives can ruin their shit and can ruin their lives before they even get a chance to um, indulge in it. Parents having sex in front of their children, allowing their children to see it. Uh, y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all want to act like y'all know what I'm talking about. You in the bed, and you got your baby in the bed, and you just getting off. Okay? I mean, we no discipline, no respect for the child and his space. You know, listen, in the United States, it's easy to point out what we perceive to be the problem of children. The news medias are filled with accounts of child abuse. Television, talk shows regularly feature interviews with victims of child abuse. 
some of whom have themselves become abusing parents. We hear of adults who throw children out of windows, beat them to death, plunge them into scalding hot water, abandon them in crash containers, use them for their own sexual gratification, or exploit them sexually for financial gain. We are all too conscious of news accounts of child murder or cases of abuse and neglect that have led to the deaths of innocent children. We may be less conscious of the devastating effects of psychological and emotional abuse, such as the narcissistic wounding inflicted by adults who shame and humiliate children and tell them that they are stupid, inept, lazy, immoral, good for nothing, worthless, cannot do anything right, or will never amount to anything. See, y'all forget about that group, that core right there. Because, see, that's the core I want to speak at right now. Uh, as a child who grew up hearing that rhetoric from uh, people, who were supposed to love me unconditionally. And there, so I get what you're saying. And there's so many of us. That don't mean my parents were bad and evil people. Somebody did it to them. Okay? Now, I'm not going to make excuses for them. But what I'm saying is, sometimes when you're 18 and 19 years old and you're having children, you don't know all that stuff yet. See, you call your, oh, he's so bad. He's so bad. Look at him with his stupid self. He's so bad. And the kid's hearing that. Okay? And they're growing up already in this bubble. Already. We are just beginning to develop a consciousness about systemic attacks on the self-esteem of many children, although if we listen, we can hear such attacks going on all around us. We can only guess that the number of children who are victim of various forms of abuse can get help. At the same time, as we are becoming more conscious of child abuse, our society appears superficially to be child-centered. Consumer goods aimed at children, market abound, and the parenthood has come back into fashion among young urban professionals. Oh, yeah, I'm doing this with my child, and yes, we're going this, that, and the other. Poor adults seem to see their offspring as objects to be controlled and molded into obedient, respectful children, and later into successful, prosperous citizens. Some parents begin to plan their children's academic careers at birth, and many seem to value academic achievement more highly than any other aspects of the childhood. With all this marketing, molding, and education, how much do we adults really care about the children themselves, their feelings, and their perceptions of reality? The care of children is more and more left to persons other than their parents, persons who may or may not be competent in child care or really care about the children at all. In some cases, substitute caregivers may actually do a better job of child rearing than the parents do. But it is extremely rare that a person outside the family can give the child the necessary feeling of being someone special, someone truly valued. That's a rare, rarity. To a child, the parent's absence says far more eloquently than any words that they do not value their child enough to spend time with. A young child cannot understand adults' reason, and the message of absence may be equally devastating to the child when the parents are not absent by choice. Even with the best of substitute care, continually a continu continuity is at risk. And for many parents, adequate substitute caregivers simply are not available. 
There are crises of child care for the children of working parents and the foster care for children who cannot live at home. Persons employed in animal care often receive higher wages than those who work with children. Homemakers, whether female or male, are almost always underpaid and without prestige, and thus narcissistically wounded in our money-conscious, greedy society. Sheer need, as well as the competitive priorities of an economic system, reduces the possibility for parents who care for children deeply to do a job. Uh, and most of them are so busy, they have to reduce the possibility of, they have spare time to spend with their children. Many children are relegated to hobby or even nuisance status. As a society, we clearly have not placed any real needs of the children very high on our priority list. Still, in many cases, the project of molding children appears to work very well until adolescence. When adults begin, if they have not already done so, perceive the children as the problem. Adults feel that they have done their best, have given their children everything, yet all around them, all they see is teenage drug abuse and alcohol abuse. Many teens run away from home, engage in prostitution rather than return home, commit violence, commit suicide. Indeed, some parents have thrown out their teenage children who then have no homes to return to. In addition, teenage children in alarming numbers are having children with their own for whom they cannot adequately care. Have, I'm sorry, having children of their own for whom they cannot adequately care for. Meanwhile, the evidence mounts indicating that abusing parents usually were themselves the victim, victims of abuse as children, and the cycle of violence directed inward and outward seems unbreakable. Children are starved, beaten, raped, humiliated, manipulated, and lied to, and child-related problems exist within the larger contents of the word violence, terrorism, substance abuse, poverty, oppression, homelessness, hunger, racism, sexism, environmental pollution, and the threat of nuclear war. We grown-up children, with our contempt for God's creation, threaten ourselves with the destruction of human existence as we know it. We flirt with deaf people. When you, when you can neglect the babies of your uh, society, what is, what is a society that don't care for its young and its old? What is that society? And what you have to do is take a real good look at what is happening in the United States. And nobody in main media wants to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it. How they act like they so love their children so much but then they take them home and molest them. Or know they being molested by somebody, your boyfriend or your husband, and you're not willing to say anything or protect them children <clears throat> in any kind of shape, form, or fashion. So you go home, so you wallow in your anxiety knowing that your husband or boyfriend <coughs> would rather be with your daughter or your son than you. Oh, it gets deep, people, but you know what? I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to leave it right there. <coughs> I'm going to leave it right there. Excuse me. The choke. I'm going to leave it right there. So those of y'all who this message spirit has been touched or you know somebody that's being abused, or you yourself. A lot of us, when we know better, we do better. I didn't. I didn't know what I know now, because I used the, the map and the uh, that road map that my parents led to me. 
But fortunately for me, I was an empath enough to know that the things that hurt me, I didn't want to do it to my children. But that don't mean I didn't make no mistakes. That don't mean that. Okay? But what that does mean is any, anytime we got children in our midst, we have to acknowledge and we have to worship pretty much their existence around us and respect it. And respect it. They don't see the world the way we do. Their impressions are not the way ours are. And just like Boosie said, we raising these kids wrong. We raising them wrong. Where they going to end up menaces to society and not great con contributors of society. All right. I'm going to leave that alone. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, share the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.